Hi, uh, I'm Jomi Wu and I'm gonna record the question number two in homework five for the course uh, probability and stochastic prob processes. So uh, in this question, uh, the f x y is equals to one divided by a times y squared times x, and y is larger than or equals to one, and x is larger than one divided by y and smaller than y. So the first question asks us to draw the non-zero definition of, definition region of f f x y. So uh, which will be which will be this part, so x larger than 1 divided by y and smaller than y. So, in this graph right here, this line is y x to x, and this line is uh, y x to 1 divided by x. So, x, uh, so first, see, first uh, y is larger than or equals to 1, so, the definition region should be should be above this this uh, horizontal line, and then x is is uh, is larger than uh, one minus one minus one. So x should be on the right side of this line. So and also x is uh, x is smaller than y. So uh, so x should be uh, on the left side of this line. So. And then this shadow, the shadow region will be the non-zero definition region of x, y. And then the second question asks us to find a so that f x y is a valid joint density function. So. Uh, to prove that f x y is a very dense joint density function, uh, is uh, it should be equal to one. So we will uh, we will take the the differentiation of this function. So it will it will be like this. So is uh, d x d y and is x range and is this is y range. And then we calculate this one, and uh, in the processes we we set the w is uh, equals to ln y, and so that y is equals to e w uh, e to the power of uh, w. So, and finally we got the answer that uh, this equation will be equals to uh, minus two divided by a times the w times e to the power of minus w and from from infinity minus zero and minus this uh, differentiation uh, from zero to infinity uh, to the e to the power of minus u uh, minus w sorry times dw which is equals to one so that we can uh, so that we get the final answer that a equals to two and so, and the third question asks us to find and draw the marginal density function fx and fy. So we can use the value a equals to two, and we can use uh, use that to substitute in this uh, in a function that the equation of uh, in a equation that the question offers us. So the a right here will be equals to two. So fy is equals to this part, this one. And uh, we just calculate it. It is equals to ln y divided by y square. So since y is uh, larger than or equals to one, so this graph will be look like this. So it starts from one and it will goes like this. And then the fx will be equals to um, this one. And uh, since uh, we're gonna divide it to into two situations, since y is larger than one, so the first part is uh, zero less than x less than y, or less than one. So in this part, f x will be uh, uh, derivative from uh, one divided by x to the infinity, and one divided by two uh, 
times y squared times x dy, which is equals to uh, 1 divided by 2. And the second situation that uh, x is larger than 1 and smaller than uh, infinity, the fx in this situation would be uh, would be equal to 1 divided by 2 times x squared. So uh, in question number 4, uh, so uh, I'm sorry, so it will be look like this. So in this range, it, it will maintain a value of 1 divided by 2. And in this range, it will look like this function, the y equals to uh, 1 divided by 2 x squared. So it will look like this. So uh, in question number four, it asks us to verify that fx and fy are weighted density functions. So it will equal to zero, or it equals to one. So by calculating this equation, it is equals to one. And by calculating this equation, it also equals to one. So both fx and fy is a valid property, property density functions. And thanks for watching.